Welcome sa sitnayan.com uh, In this video ay pag-aaralan natin kung paano ba mag-multiply ng fractions, no? Uh, before we do that, before we multiply, try natin pag-aaralan kung ano ba yung konsepto ng multiplication, no? So what you see on your screen is a rectangle divided into uh, three equal parts, no? Yung dalawang parts noon ay meron tayong uh, color. So if we want to represent this part using fractions, uh, Alam natin na two thirds siya, di ba? So, I think this is very basic. Uh, inumpisa na natin yung pag-aralan sa um, start ng series na to, no? Now, what if I want to get one half of uh, the fraction, for example, two thirds? So, mangyayari dito is, hahatiin ko lang siya sa dalawa, no? And of course, kailangan ko sa hatiin pati itong walang kulay kasi if we want to represent fractions, di ba, kailangan equal yung parts niya, no? Equal parts siya. So, pag hinati ko siya from here, meron tayong maiiwang uh, mas malaking parts. Dapat lahat ng hati pag nag-represent tayo ng fraction ay pare-pareho, no? So, if I want to represent uh, one half in relation to the whole, so pwede kong sabihin, Itong part na to, no? Itong part na to ay one half of the whole. But since ang sakop lang na, ng two-third ay dito, yung original fraction natin, so ito lang hinahanap natin. What is one half of two-third? So only this part, no? Yung part lang na to. And uh, if we consider this one half of two-third, then we can have the following equation, which is our equation which is one-half of two-third. Ilang parts na ngayon ito in relation to the whole? So, dalawa out of how many parts? Six parts. So, two-sixth. So, what happens, one-half of two-third means one-half times two-third, which is equal to two-sixth. Nulit ko lang, no? pinalitan ko lang yung off ng multiplication. And from here, ma observe natin that 2 is a product of 1 and 2, and also uh, 6 is a product of 2 and 3. So, ganun pala yan. Pag tayo pala ay, uh, tayo pala ay nag, uh, multiply ng fraction, may multiply lang pala natin yung numerator, no? At tapos yung magiging result nun, yun na yung magiging numerator ng resulting fraction, no? And also, the magiging denominator nila ng resulting fraction natin is also the product of the denominators of the um, multiplied fraction. Okay? So that's our example 1. This is our example 1. So sa example 2, what happens if meron naman tayong or oh, let's have another example of uh, yung talagang fraction lang. What is 3 fourth times 5 sixth? By the way, ito pwede natin to i-lowest terms, no? So magiging, magiging divided by of course, we know that this is not the lowest terms. We can divide by 2, yung, uh, both denominator and the numerator. And then we have 1 third. No? Dito naman, again, we, we can uh, multiply directly. No? Pwede mag-cancel, but uh, later pag natin yan. But here we have 15 over 24, no? which can also be reduced to lowest terms by dividing both sides by or not both sides, both the numerator and the denominator by 3. So, magiging 5 over 8, no? So, number 3, paano naman kung merong whole number? No? Whole number. 5 times um, 3 halves. So, mangyari dito is that uh, Ang usually, ang mga whole number, pwede natin siyang lagyan na lang over 1 because 5 is the same as 5 over over 1. So, meron na tayong numerator at denominator, pwede na natin i-multiply, no? Kanina kasi whole number, wala siyang denominator dito, no? But here, pare na tayong may numerator at may denominator, we can already multiply. So, 5 times 3 is 15. 15 over 2 or... Uh, if we change this to mixed fraction, uh, we can uh, have uh, 7 and 1 half. No? 
So, fourth and last example, paano kung meron tayong um, mixed fraction? Anong ginagawa natin to? Of course, uh, maraming paraan yan, no? So, but ang pag-aaral natin dito is yung pinaka-basic lang. We have uh, uh, times 2 thirds, for example. So, this becomes uh, 6 times 5. Uh, change po muna siya sa uh, improper fraction. So, when you change this to improper fraction, ang denominator niya is 5 pa rin, di ba? Hindi naman nagbabago yung denominator. And then, para makuha yung numerator, times, ito times natin yung dalawang to, 5 times uh, 6 is 30, tapos ito 31 over 5 times 2 third, no? which is equal to 62 over 15. Or, if we change this to uh, a mixed fraction, balik natin siya, we can have 62 divided by 15. We can have 4, 60, and 2. Huh? So, ito yung ating whole number, yung 4. And then, yung ating numerator is yung remainder. At yung denominator natin ay yung uh, divisor. So, 4 and 2 over 15. Okay, I hope I may, meron kayo natutunan sa video na to. And uh, I invite you all to go to sip9.com, no? Uh, nandiyan yung mga listahan natin ng mga videos na complete, no? And, uh, of course, uh, gusto ko rin kayong invite sa uh, ating YouTube channel. At uh, pakishare na lang sa inyong mga friends para matututin sila ng mathematics, no? Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.